Hello everyone. Um, I'm making this video very early in the morning. It is uh, the 21st of November. It is 1.37 a.m. You'd be wondering why I haven't been around. Oh, especially the fact that I announced not long ago that I was going to go streaming and playing poker and taking it seriously, blah, blah, blah. And here we are again, not fulfilling what we wanted to do and giving up and failing. And then we get nowhere. So what have I been doing? Well, work's obviously been busy, of course. Other commitments have been in play as well. But I decided back at the end of last month that I was going to reset everything. I mean, everything that I've learned over the 10 plus years of playing poker. Actually, it's been played since I was 18. I'm 33 now. Everything that I've learned, everything that I've thought I was good at, is has been weighing me down. I've not put the effort in. I've not learned the game properly, and I've not continuous continuously learned the game properly. So I decided to reset the whole lot and start from the beginning, and not just by doing a bankroll challenge or to talk philosophically about, oh my, you know, I need to, you know, sort my life out. Blah blah blah. Look, if you don't have the right mentality, you play shit. If you don't follow the fundamentals, you play shit, you lose. And that's what I've been doing for so long. So, what am I doing to change that? Well, two main things that I've decided to change. I'm learning the game from scratch. I've put money into a really good site, which I'm going to show you here. This is a site called Micro Grinder Poker School. I found this um, after searching a few things online for some affordable type coaching and coaching material. And there's a lot of courses that you can go for. There's a really good um, uh, like kind of offer going on at the moment where you can jo join it and sign up for the introductory course. And then it gives you a 30 day, in a sense, trial. There's a there's obviously something to pay. There's, there's a little, small amount to pay, but you get full access to all the courses here that you have on offer and the materials as well. A lot of material, a lot of courses, brilliant value. Or you can just buy them outright as well. You can buy courses outright, which I think is pretty decent uh, pricing. But anyway, I decided to invest in that. I also decided to pick a new site and stick with iPorter Network because it's the only site that I can actually go to and play. And I decided to play at Grosner Poker. I play at Grosner Casinos a lot, and I thought it was quite fitting to play at Grosner Poker. Um, now you can see that my balance is hidden. The reason for, my, for that balance being hidden is for mentality purposes, because I am not doing this anymore for money and to build a bankroll in the sense of doing a bankroll challenge and things like that. Bankroll challenges are done for. I have no interest in them anymore. This is about me trying to get back in the game, loving the game, learning the game, and becoming better at the game. That's it. So we deposited 100 euros back at the end of last month, and we've been playing off stream. Now, another thing I just uh, have invested in as well, just to let you know, is Poker Tracker 4. And this graph will show you that I've been playing now. So it shows days played of 18 days. Obviously, it spans all across of we've been playing since 20, 28th of October up until now um, so this is a graph where look it's not great but I needed to start from from at least a good sample size of hands at the beginning to then see where I am and as you can see not exactly great okay but it's about being open and transparent with these guys which I'm going to explain why I'm saying that before the end of this video but anyway, we're just going back to this, I'm going to be open and honest as well. It's a learning thing. You know, I'm still going to have those tendencies, those bad habits, those tilting moments where I'm going to make mistakes. And I might even make mistakes where the bank wall goes and I've got to restart again. I'm prepared for that. You know, I have to be prepared for that because if I want to become better, sometimes things can not go our way and we lose our focus and we go. Okay. I'm going to try and work on that, but I want to show you exactly all the stakes. Now, graph changes quite dramatically there, right? 
The reason for that is because we decided to, when we were on tilt and we lost a lot, we went too high up. And this is one of the biggest problems of my game, is going on tilt and playing in stakes that I have no, have, I should not be going into. Yeah, it means we win, we're we actually in profit overall, but that's surely down to luck. Most of the time we would have lost the whole lot. Okay. But I wanted to show you and be honest of what I've played when I have tilted. But this is the level that I'm playing at, at the moment at 2NL. Obviously with 2NL there's a more consistency there. I've been enjoying 2NL even though there is a there's a lot of stressful things playing, t playing at 2NL. And I need to start learning not to get stressed out. But I've got a lot of information on a lot of players on that site so far. I'm learning to look for tells. I'll play them in certain positions. This is where the coaching comes in. I'm doing, you know, I'm, I'm doing a current course at the moment, which is a pre-flop uh, game plan that I'm doing right now as a full course. So I'm in the middle of doing that and learning uh, about three bet shows and three bet for value and, and semi bluffs and I'm learning things like that. So yeah, that's pretty much it, really. Um, now, just to cover the last thing on this video before we wrap up, am I going to be streaming on Twitch when playing poker? And the answer is no, for the meantime. The reason I say that is because I need to get comfortable with my game and my plan before I start streaming again. And I think streaming is going to be, it's going to be too, too much to handle at the same time of learning. So I decided to not do streams on Twitch live. However, I have decided to post more content on YouTube in the sense of a blog and also a weekly review. So what we'll be doing is recording a couple of videos. Well, not even recording a couple of videos. Let me, let me rephrase that. Not recording videos, but each session, we're going to measure each session of what we've played, how many hands. We're going to see how well we did in that session and then look at the overall session like this, like you saw on the screen just a few moments ago. Um, we're going to talk about our ups and downs and be open and transparent because I feel that a lot of players out there who are similar to me are losing players and have the same tilt, same mentalities and things that ruins your game. And I want to be able to show that I'm, that I'm human and I'm going to make mistakes. So I'm going to post lots of there and I think over time we're going to look at a few hands some key hands I'm going to make some notes of that whenever I make a, a back call or feel like I've got a hand where we could do hand of the week where we could maybe discuss a hand and get opinions from the audience in a sense of do you think this is a good player do you think I should have played this differently how do you how would you play it open it up for discussion I've made a two plus two form thread as well, which I'll go and post in the description below, as well as posting links to the Micro Grinder Poker School and also to Pork Track Fourth if anyone is interested in that. Um, so the reason the reason I'm doing the thread is because I can post the graphs and the and the journey and also post new videos, so that people who don't really use YouTube as much to subscribe to they might see it on the thread and decide to visit. The videos and hopefully people will start to pick up on them is my is a, have i got a long-term goal yeah the long-term goal is just to become good and consistent that's the term goal i'm not here to make money i've got a career that pays my way you know i've got pretty much a family now that i've got to support you know like poker isn't my main reason of you know my main way of making money so anyway this is where I'm going to wrap up the video. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you want to subscribe, please hit the subscribe button and also hit the uh, notification bell. That would be much appreciated, just to let you know whenever the videos are upload. We're going to do re weekly uploads, and every so often we might post up a, maybe a, a vlog of you know of anything, really, when I've got things on my mind, pork-related, of course. Um, and I'll be posting the thread as well. So, again, thanks for watching. I know this is a bit raw and and not re-edited very well. The reason is because I just wanted to post this video up in its raw, you know, aspect of things. And yeah, anyway, I'm blabbering.
thanks for watching and i'll see you guys around peace